The pitching matchup, so then we can finally get to the guy. James Shields <laughs> against Madison Bumgarner. Rematch of game number one, a game that the Giants won 7 to 1. Bumgarner over Shields. Coverage starts at 7 Eastern tomorrow night on Fox. It'll be game five. And after this pitch, we'll bring him in. What an intro. What a build up. <laughs> Here's a 3-2. There you go. Our interview with James Shields, tomorrow night starter for the Royals, brought to you by Direct TV. You enjoying these hacks that your fellow pitchers taking up there? Man, he's looking pretty hitterish, man. I I'd be scared to face him. <laughs> <laughs> now, he can swing it, man. He can swing it. There's no doubt about it. Does he talk it? Does he tell you how? No, nah, no. Nah, he downplays it, man. He downplays it for sure. But I don't know how he can swing it. Oh, there you go. He flies one in to single. Going, ball. Back near the track, about 390 feet away, and loud out. All right, James, you get the ball tomorrow night. I don't know you well, but I know this: you cannot wait to get back out there after the game one start. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, you know, obviously it didn't go the way I planned it to go, and uh, you know, I'm excited to get back out there. I mean, we we had a good bullpen session this this last round, and, uh, and everything's everything's solid right now. It feels good. So as you go back over to that, what does a pitcher do? How do you get ready for a team so quick a turnaround? I mean, we've done it before. I mean, pretty much every September we, we face a team twice in a row or a couple teams twice in a row. So, I mean, it's nothing new to us. But, um, yeah, we just got to go back and look at some video and uh, hopefully we can make adjustments as, as it goes. Here is Escobar who takes a strike. I don't want to lose what you said there at the end of your first answer. It's something Ken Rosenthal alerted us to. You had a good bullpen session. You found something and you feel good going into the start tomorrow night. Yeah I mean obviously when you're when you're you know you haven't had, you haven't had a good outing you want to go back in and uh, try to make adjustments in the bullpen session and hopefully it translates into the game. Here's but, Escobar with a base hit to center. Go ahead. But it's uh, you know it's, it's just a, it's a work in progress always. I mean uh, you know you never stop learning in this game until you're done. So um, you know you just got to make adjustments every time whether it's the beginning of the year or uh, in the World Series here you always got to make adjustments and uh, and go from there. Hey James when you came over in that trade. There's been a lot of talk about the foundation you laid here for the pitching staff. Take us back to what the mindset was that you came to try to change here in Kansas City. You know, I think the biggest mindset is to go deep in games. I mean, that's one. Of, that's one of the main goals we had in Tampa was to be able to throw a thousand innings as a starting staff, and that's tough to do, you know. And we almost made it um, the last couple of years. And uh, you know, we, we need to we need to rest our bullpen. We got such a good bullpen back there, but we want to keep them fresh as fresh as we possibly can, so not waste them. So that's our that's our main goal. Here's Gordon swinging a miss as Escobar started and stopped over at first. And James, I've been fascinated that your manager, Ned Yost, pointed to that wild card game as a very definitive point where this team began to believe. From a player's perspective, you see it the same way? You know, I think the last couple of months, I think we believed in ourselves, believed in our, in our, our ability to win ball games, and, uh, and our, our main goal is just don't quit until the last out, and I think that that wild card game definitely solidified that. Nothing and one to count on Gordon. He hits it right side, back to second, high and out. No double play. Grass, the inning continues. Grass a little bit wet. <laughs> we watched a little bit of rain. He comes across, he rains us to the left. And this is what I like about left handed first basemen. They got that angle already, but the ball, I think, was high because it's a little bit wet down there. So the force out. Gordon will run the batter, Lorenzo Cain. Hey, how about uh, your old manager, Joe Madden, opting out in Tampa Bay? That surprised you? Yeah, it definitely surprised me. I thought that guy was going to be there for about 40 years, man, the way he was going in there. I mean, he's an icon in Tampa, man. It's, uh, But, yeah, he's a, he's a great manager. Um, you know, I wish him the best of luck in uh, whatever he does. And wherever he goes, man, he's, he's definitely going to have success. He's, he's, he's a great guy. Well, let's watch you have some fun here tomorrow night, James. Yeah, man, that's what we're, that's what we're here for is what we dreamt about doing. So we're going to have some fun tomorrow. All right, that's James Shields joining us from the dugout, Kansas City side, as Lorenzo Kane takes down an in-ball one.